Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. <clears throat> Today I have a uh, a new canned beer from a high branch out of Concord, North Carolina. This beer is called Smooth Hazy IPA. Um, I think it's it's mainly Matueka with a little bit of uh, Citra and Ella, I believe. Um, it's 7.0 ABV. Uh, Let's crack it open and see what we got. Man, these high point cans. I don't know why I said high point. These high branch cans. I might have said high point before too. But these high branch cans. They fill them like growlers. I mean, they're literally like when you crack them open, the, there's beer sitting on top of it. Like they're so full. Uh, So as you can see, it pours a, uh, hmm, a hazy, um, sorry, I got distracted, I guess someone texted me. It pours a, uh, a hazy, like, straw to pineapple juice color, um, with a, uh, like a half a finger white head that's, uh, sticking around a little bit. <clears throat> hmm. Um, it's a really nice blend of like uh, orangey citrus uh, and like peach character. The slightest bit of like overripe and pineapple too, but it's mainly it's mainly or orangey and uh, peachy, which is a good combination. I will say, just my first impression before I really get into the taste, I think it's interesting that this beer is called Smooth because this really has a bite to it. Um, I think some of their other beers are a lot more smooth, which, so that's why I think it's kind of interesting this is called Smooth. Um, The flavor actually has like more alcohol character than I would expect. Um, it's very dry, like orange rind, pineapple character. Um, <clears throat> and it finishes with like a, a pretty strong bitterness in the back end. Uh, I mean, like I said in the aroma, I thought it was really orangey. The taste is orangey too, but it's almost like like there's a ton of pulp in it. Like you're getting that white part of the orange rind that's just like burning the back of your tongue. Uh, I'm curious now, I, I kind of like want to let this sit for two or three weeks. Um, because I kind of, like, some Dancing Gnome cans are the same way when they're super fresh. They're almost, like, burning because there's so much hop stuff, hop floating in it. Uh, because if that fell off a little bit, I feel like this would be really good. But that, that burn is, like, making me uh, not want to drink more than one can of this. Uh, excuse me. So, I think... You know, and this is proof that I'm not biased at all. Like, I, I really like these guys, but this one, I think it, it's a little rough to drink. Um, at least right now. It might get a lot better with a couple weeks on it. Give it some time to mellow out. You know, I thought I'd never say that about IPAs, but it's true now. They're so flooded with hops, you actually have to age them for a couple weeks to let them mellow out. Um, yeah, so, I mean, given that, I think it's pretty obvious between my scale of buy drink dump this is a drink um you know if i bought this 
if I bought this again and I knew this is what it would taste like, if I had the opportunity to buy this again and I knew this is what it was going to taste like and I didn't know if it was going to change for better, um, which I still don't know now, I probably would not buy this again. Um, I'll, I will have no problem drinking this four pack that I have, but uh, I, w I wouldn't buy this again. And again, that's uh, at least in, given the uh, their whole portfolio of hoppy beers, that's uh, a rare miss from, from them. For me, uh, it's like there's some. It's like that juiciness wants to come out, but it's just cut down by this burning bitterness in the back end. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a bitch anymore with these IPAs, but. To me, the bitterness up front of like a West Coast IPA is completely different than the bitterness you get from, the, if you get one of these uh, New England IPAs that are too bitter, they just burn the back of your tongue. It's like you, you put Bitrex on the back of your tongue or something. Um, and this isn't as bad as other ones I've had, but it's still burny. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my thought on this guy. Um, but don't let this has. Uh, make you hesitate to trade for their other stuff. It's all their other stuff is really good. This is just one that I'm not particularly enjoying that much. Uh, there might be some other people who like it even more than their other stuff because they like that bitterness. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. So please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.